Hey, good afternoon everyone. It's Corey here. I am in a Kong Cafe. This is very close to my house. You've probably seen this in some of my Instagram photos and on uh, Facebook where I shared these photos about this really cool cafe. Now, Kom Cafe is a chain here in Hanoi. You kind of see them around the country of Vietnam. There are some in different cities, but most of them are here in Hanoi. And so I wanted to share with you two drinks that I like to drink at this cafe. The first one is coconut coffee smoothie. And then the second one is a sour yogurt coffee. That's right, there's yogurt and coffee mixed in this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get loaded up on caffeine today. We're gonna try both of these for you guys and just kind of show you what they look like and talk about how they taste. So before these things start melting a little bit, I kind of wanted to talk about the cafe itself. This is kind of like a communist themed cafe. So Kom is part of the name of the actual country, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. So some people will debate if it means communist or not, but like more or less, it does kind of mean communist. The theme is basically from between like the 1950s to like the 1980s, you could find a lot of this style of like decor and furniture inside of people's homes and different places around Vietnam. So it's kind of like a retro, like communist chic, vintage throwback style cafe. And they're really cool. They're very nice and they have some really good drinks and they have some really good stuff on the menu as well. There's all kinds of different drinks, fruit drinks, fruit smoothies, teas, coffees, and uh, especially the famous coconut coffee smoothie and the yogurt coffee. So first, let's look at this. Can you see this, guys? This is a wonderful glass of Vietnamese coffee mixed with this huge dollop of coconut smoothie. Oh my God, it's going everywhere. This is made from real coconut milk. And you can even taste some pieces of coconut. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Right now I just had a piece of coconut. Mm. The bitterness of the coffee really matches well with the sweetness of the coconut, but it's subtle, you know, it's not like sugar. Oh my God, this, this beats any kind of like dairy creamer any day. And um, let's, let's go ahead and take a good sip of this. It's just so nice. This is a refreshing beverage, just like any kind of like frozen smoothie. So you could have this for breakfast. This could be like your, your wake me up drink. Uh, this could just be like midday, during lunchtime or after lunch, or like right now, it's about 3.30 p.m. And I'm just kind of like chilling around my area and um, I wanted to make this video for you guys. Oh, you have to be careful though. It's so good, you wanna just like eat it and drink it so fast, but then you'll end up giving yourself a brain freeze. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now I usually don't get both of these drinks at the same time. It's only this drink or this drink just by itself. But for the sake of the video, I decided to get my two favorite drinks. Next up is the yogurt, the yogurt coffee. So you can see the, the froth from when they poured in the freshly brewed Vietnamese coffee. And then there's chunks of ice in here as well to keep it nice and cold. The white stuff is not coconut, it is actually yogurt. And so in Vietnamese, this is called Sua Chua Cafe. So cafe is just coffee, but Chua in the name of this, is, it actually means sour. So this yogurt is not like your, like your yo plates or whatever that are like full of sugar. These are, this is like a sour yogurt. The only thing that I can kind of compare it to is like, like Greek yogurt. You know, something that doesn't have a lot of sugar and it's kind of sour. You can eat this like this with a spoon. You can mix it up or whatever, you know, however you want to do it. You want to drink it through a straw. That's kind of how I like to do it. You can see the yogurt in there with the coffee sitting on top. It hasn't mixed yet. It's such a beautiful color. The dark brown of the coffee and then just the pure white of the yogurt. And it's just so cool how it kind of like bleeds into each other. The coconut coffee smoothie has already kind of blended together, but you can still see there's a huge chunk of uh, the coconut smoothie on the bottom. I'm gonna try to get some piece of yogurt. Oh yeah, I think that's a good one right there. Mm. I just have no words right now to explain this. 
It's so good. Actually, I'm gonna drink with the straw so I don't get too much of the ice chunks. I don't wanna like just eat ice, you know? Mm. So they're both very similar, you know, with the Vietnamese coffee. It's just one has coconut smoothie, frozen smoothie, and then um, this one has the yogurt. So even though they're very similar, the tastes are super different and very distinct. And like when this one mixes together, like, like I, I can't even, it's just, oh, lots of words right now, very heavenly. And then same with this one, but in a different kind of way. Like, I don't know, I, I love the sourness of this yogurt. So if you wanted to make this at home, I know there's recipes online. So if you just like Google about like yogurt coffee recipe, you're gonna find some pretty good stuff. I think it just uses plain yogurt and then um, like an espresso or something like that. And you just mix it together with some ice and you're good to go. Mm. I'm a happy guy right now. All right, let's switch back to the coconut smoothie. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big piece. The cool thing I want to mention about these cafes, there's a lot of them in this city. There's at least 20, I think, in Hanoi itself. And uh, every single one of them is nicely decorated inside with uh, the themes that I was talking about earlier. But they're all really unique. Like, like this one is completely different from the other one. They're all different sizes. This one's actually pretty big. Inside on the first floor, there's all kinds of like old retro sofas with the like cool like flower patterns and stuff, very colorful. There are pictures of various communist leaders like uh, Ho Chi Minh and Che and like Lenin and stuff. So, so you get kind of this like old retro like 1950s, 60s kind of vibe. And then what's cool too is like the staff, they're wearing like this kind of like olive green, like military-esque drab colored uniform. And then they have like the, the army hat, like soldier hat, but it's always backwards, so it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's really interesting. And I can see why it's just so popular. Actually, it's so popular. They opened one of these in Seoul about two or three months ago. If you're ever in Seoul, you can check it out. I think it's in Yeonnamdong, I'm not sure, but I'll have that info in the description box down below. And if you're in Hanoi, you can just uh, also check the link down below for the actual website. They have it in English. And I just want to say that if you're in Vietnam and you're kind of like not sure where the Kong Cafe is and you somehow cannot find one, which would be kind of weird, but if you couldn't find one at all, there's a lot of cafes all around Vietnam that actually sell both of these drinks. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to come to a Kong Cafe. But I like to come here. You should try it out at least once just to say you've been there. Really cool, a lot of nice interior design and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. If you wanna find out where this specific cafe near my house is, check the description box down below. Plus all the links about the Kong Cafe website and the address of the one that's in Seoul. See you guys later, bye.